This was a hurricane casualty right here. There used to be a tree right here. Okay, this guy does some real estate stuff around here. He's got a little courtyard area out here. Um, really cool story. We built the pond for him some time ago. Um, this was one that got hit by the hurricane pretty good too because it used to have a tree right next to the biofalls. We'll talk about it when we're up there. Um, and it came down in the hurricane and we had to tear out a bunch of foliage to try to make it look decent. So it sort of took away that hiding the origin aspect that I like to do. But anyway, it's a cool little um, courtyard uh, pond. His wife um, came down with cancer pretty bad, um, not too terribly long ago. And um, she has just recently been, been pronounced cancer free. So it's been hey, really cool. Nice. But I love having the, the ponds in places where my dad had Alzheimer's and I, before he passed away and I built a pond for them outside their front door. And it was a really cool place for dad. He would just spend hours in front of the pond and watch the waterfall. Mm -hmm. And there's something about having a waterfall and a pond. It's relaxing for anybody, but for somebody with an illness like that, I don't know, it just feels really cool to be able to do that for people. So I'm really happy to say that she's cancer free. It's really awesome. This pond was a big, ugly pit in the ground. Um, kind of the style where you just cut the liner into the ground and put a ring of stone on it um, and it was full of algae all the time and it was just a nightmare for them and they couldn't keep up with it um, so I tore it out and we put a nice ecosystem pond in here for them with we got a signature series skimmer in there and a 2500 biofalls we've got a ionizer in it um, it stays clean all the time and um, it was this one was about a 70 about a seventy five hundred dollar job um, and it's just a really low, you know, sometimes, um, low and slow is the way to go. I'm not trying to be a rapper, but that's kind of the way it, um, especially in courtyard areas like this. You don't, what you're saying um, is you don't want a five foot high waterfall. No, in a and it just yard. looks stupid. It doesn't look natural. And sometimes it almost is too loud, especially when you're in a, in an area like this where the sound is reverberating. Mm -hmm. So this is a very low, low waterfall, but you can get a really cool effect out of a low waterfall um, in a lot of areas. So that's what we Let's did here. Let's go check it out. So, all right. It's in a neat little courtyard and they, they put a little small fence up because they have some people visiting with a little toddler. Very nice. I love the um, the low waterfall and in this courtyard it's with sound. all the walls. Yeah, it's sound perfect. Um, it's just the right amount of sound. Uh, this is one that you can see actually this was a hurricane casualty right here. <laughs> there used to be a tree right here oh, and a bunch yeah. of Xanadu. You can see that the biofalls are kind of exposed. It's not really great. Um, but the tree that was here that had to come out, it ended up, we ended up having to take a bunch of greenery out that was hiding that. So as you were sitting in the courtyard, you couldn't really see where this thing started. Everybody they're says relaxing. they want a high waterfall, but yeah. they really don't. They want a natural waterfall. Right. approaching to view the pond um, is to be able to put kind of a, a destination stone like this because this stone kind of makes you want to stand on it yeah and then you can stand out here and feed the fish or if you wanted to sit here and dangle your feet in the pond you could if it was a warm summer day so nice. um, that, I usually try to put a stone that sort of calls you from the side that you're going to be walking yes. out from basically what we did is um, we built, put a big pump basin in the ground. Um, 
gosh, probably three, I don't know, maybe two or 3,000 gallons, I'm trying to remember. Um, wow. This one's been in the ground for almost 10 years too. I think it was 2007 when we built it, or eight, maybe. Anyway, um, two or 3,000 gallon basin, and then it goes to about a 20 by 20 pond, um, and we've got a 6,000 biofalls on it. Um, so this is one of those big jobs that you've brought an extra help to do. Yeah, yeah, and um, honestly, it's just a circular pond in the ground. They didn't necessarily even want a pond per se. Um, they were just looking for a way to move water off their property. Uh -huh. So um, I was able to convince them that if we could catch the water and sort of run it through a little uh, waterfall and a biological system that um, they could have something kind of decent looking in the corner of their yard. And then the pump vault overflows into a big concrete catch basin and there's a six inch pipe that runs out to the lake. Um, so when the pump vault gets too full, it will um, overflow and just go back out to the lake. But in the meantime, it catches all this water off of the yard, all the fertilizer and all that stuff. And it just runs it through the system and the pond stays clean. It just runs and runs and it, it stays clear to the bottom. It's about a 20 by 20. Wow. Um, it's got a 6,000 biofalls in it. It catches all, you can see there's kind of a swale dug here. It's designed to catch, there's about a two or 3,000 gallon basin down here, a bunch of aqua blocks in the ground. And it's designed to catch all this nasty water off of the yard with all the fertilizer and everything, and then run through this system. And, and of course- even with all of the fertilizer, you still get clear water. Clear water down to the bottom, you can see it. You can see this just recently got torn out. Um, Levi, my son, and I just reset the 6,000 because we had a, two things I think contributed to it. One, we had the hurricane and it was more rain. The whole yard was full. It was just trying to run out to the lake. There was so much water coming down. And if you look right back here, there's a gopher tortoise den, an old gopher tortoise den that goes into the back of the berm. Oh, wow. And um, I think it probably created a void space and the 6,000 just tipped. Yep. and it started running out the side so we just it was so cool looking here before you can see all this is fresh dirt there was a whole lot of fern and that that growth that's so essential to make it look natural big nut sack hanging off because that's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yes that's a, what do you think of that that's a stallion yeah <laughs>